It's been a few weeks of homecomings for public school students across the island. And come Tuesday, the Tut Tuts at Upi Elementary School will finally be soaring back to their nest in Jigo. The Northern School passing public health inspections Friday afternoon. It's good news that will end an alternating session for the Upi students at Atakau Elementary School and the end result of a joint effort to get the school back open between the island community. It's kind of a sign that... You know, regardless of whether or not we should have been in this position in the first place, uh, the fact is that the culture is still alive and we're always there to help each other in our times of need. Mark Scott is the public information officer of the Guam Guard. The government of Guam Department of Military Affairs and the Guam National Guard, part of the governor's sort team, assisting Guam Department of Education folks and volunteers at the school for weeks, lending their specialized and skilled hands. We're a part-time force, and we do have specialized skills, uh, such as engineering, some contracting jobs like engineering and plumbing. But of a lot of our folks, uh, as you know, they only come in for a drill weekend. A lot of our folks have these same types of jobs out in town. So we have the experienced electricians and tradesmen uh, to be able to do some of this stuff. Around 50 to 70 members total spread across Upi and Finnegadzen Elementary Schools, specifically tackling these jobs. There were some light fixture repairs, some sink repairs, and like water fountain replacements, things like that. Some electrical and plumbing stuff that, uh, you know, they're qualified to do, uh, and they were happy to go out and, and do it. Now all but four schools are pending public health inspections. Meantime, Upi Elementary students, faculty and staff are expected back on their home campus starting Tuesday, September 10, while the Vicente S.A. Benaventi Middle School community returns to their home school Monday.